There are more and more small collapsible hiking camping chairs out on the market today than ever before. But what I've noticed is most of them are the same. The same in that they have aluminum frames for the most part. Uh, they usually have some type of a shock cord that helps bring them together and hold their shape. Usually the seat made of mesh nylon or ripstop nylon with mesh nylon in combination is separate that you put on after you've assembled the frame. Uh, they're functional. They work. You can pay a lot of money for them and get some very, very ultralight ones. You can save a few dollars, but you're going to get more in weight for them. By and large though, they are all very similar. So when the company TCEK, I don't know if there's a pronunciation for that, offered to send me a camping chair, I looked at what they had and I said, it's at least different. And that makes it worth showing to you. So this is the folding portable swivel camp chair from TCEK. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, Keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank the company TCEK for sending out the swivel portable folding camp chair so that I could share it with you. So the easiest thing for me to do is to collapse it, put it back into its bag so that I can show you the assembly of it. And that is definitely one of the key features. A real pro for this chair is how easy it is assembled. Once I get it assembled, I'll go through the specifications for it and I'll share my experiences with it. All right, here is the chair put back in its stuff sack. A uh, few things before we get going. By the way, there is the symbol. I'm trying to make sure it's not in shadow. T-C-E-K, that's their logo above it. Uh, nylon, ripstop nylon stuff sack. A little carry on the side, carry handle, I guess. Uh, draw cord and uh, cord lock on it. It works, right? It works just fine. Everything is in here. I'll just give you the dimensions and the weight as it is now. And uh, I'll give you the full dimensions once I get the chair assembled. So overall, we have a 13 inch package with about five inches in diameter. I say five because, well, it doesn't, it isn't exactly round, but that's the basic dimensions of it. Now, here comes the kicker. Three pounds, 10 and a half ounces. Yes, this is a heavy chair, especially when you can get ultralight chairs for like one pound. So this is a heavy chair. So the question you're asking yourself, if you haven't already turned off to that is, well, what am I gonna get for all that weight? Well, stay around and I'll share it with you because there are some features that may make this chair something you want to consider. Okay, let's get it open. I'll talk about its materials and construction as I assemble it. All right, there it is. There is a retention strap or a strap that holds everything kind of bound up around the outside. It's not necessary, but it does make it easier to put away. Oh boy, this is going to be so easy. This is where the, this chair shines. At least this is number one in terms of the key features is just how easy this goes together. I've, I am folding up the basic chair legs. Now it's going to take a bit more than that to get it fully assembled. And why don't we do that now? Each of these chair legs, all made of aluminum, heavy grade aluminum, hard anodized on the outside and square-ish. They've got kind of chamfered corners. So they're not round tubes like you normally see on a lot of the chairs. But each of the chairs has a telescopic leg. Now this is, will be the back. It has two sections to telescope. You'll know it comes when it's at its limit because it has a push button that clicks into place. There's one. And I'll go to the other back one. There's two. And then I'll start, I'll continue here on this one. You can pull, well, I gotta do the other back one first, I guess. There and now. And you can hear them clicking into place. Rotate it around. This is the front of the chair. Clicked into place there. That's it. That is the basic chair assembly. Now the legs. Here's the other part. These are held together by another Velcro strap, but these are spring loaded. So when I undo these, they will instantly expand into position like that. So there we have it. There's the complete chair. Now, while I have it here in my hands before setting it down on the ground, I'll share with you the other key feature. It swivels and you'll see me swiveling in it, but you can see the legs are independent, not independent, but there is a big nylon washer, bearing washer, I'm going to assume that where the weight is taken and the, you know, the uh, rotation takes place here. 
Again, all heavy aluminum, I mean heavy aluminum, right through here. In fact, I actually put a magnet to it because I thought it was uh, a steel or iron of some type, but it's not, it's aluminum. So everything is heavy gauge all through here. And that's where the weight comes in. Now, one other key feature I can show you before setting it down on the ground is the feet. Look at that, right? No worries about these sinking into the ground. I have not had any issue. Now, I didn't try it on beach sand, but I am out in the woods. The, lo the loam is loo loose here, so uh, it's not sinking here. So I, I, this is pretty much where I want these things to work, and they do. All right, there's the basic chair. I'm going to reposition the camera and I'll give you some details and some specifications for it as it is assembled. All right, here is the chair fully assembled. I'm going to give you some specifications for the chair as I go over it and describe its construction. But of course, I'll give you all those numbers in the video description below. So let's just get those out of the way. The height at the back is 26.8 inches. From front to back, it measures 22.8 inches. And from side to side, it measures 20.8 inches. So as you can see, it's got a heavy nylon screening in the seat area. That's where the majority of your ventilation is. And I'll say it is heavier than the other chairs that I have tested. Uh, yeah, it is, just is. And back here is a ripstop nylon, which again is heavier than the other chairs I have tested. All the way around the outside, it is bound with a ribbon or webbing of some type to give it some support. And as are the panels where they meet in the center. So overall, you get an impression of heavy duty. And that certainly matches with the frame, as I described earlier, earlier heavy duty. And that's the thing. All those things together lead to the weight capacity of 300 pounds. So significant. But that only really matters if it's comfortable to sit in, right? Oh, by the way, before I do do that, sit in this, I just want to mention that this chair came to me in blue, but it is all of, also available in black nylon, green nylon and red nylon. So you do get your choices there. All right, now let me just sit in the chair and show you what it looks like and then talk about my experiences with it and my thoughts on it. I do like it. You know, I do like sitting in this chair. Here's the first thing I notice: It's wider. It appears to be wider than a few of the other ultralight style chairs that I have, meaning if you have some girth, or maybe you're wearing extra clothes in the colder uh, time of the year, you're gonna have more room in this. This is bigger than it needs to be for me, so it will handle people that have some additional uh, girth on them, I guess is the best way to say it. So that's my, my, first, uh, my first observation of it. The next is that the swivel, right? Look at this, I can, I can turn as far around as I need to, What's the big deal about that? Well, okay, so what I found is, and I had set it up here when I first got out here today and I, and I was gonna prepare myself a cup of tea, is that I could work here, here, without having to get up and move out of the chair or lean over and risk the chair collapsing or at least falling over. So yeah, that's one of the things I do like about this chair. It's not, how should I say it? It's not something for me I would choose to buy the chair for at least not for carrying out here in the woods, but it is a nice added feature to this chair that I can see making it a little bit more versatile for some people. Yeah, actually it's, you know, you actually kind of get used to it a little bit. It's, it's not bad. It allows you to, you know, move around comfortably or just fidget a little bit without having to worry about damaging the chair. Okay, so I've only had it two months. I've used it a dozen times maybe, I have not taken it to the beach, uh, so I don't know what it sits like in the sand. What I can say about the chair so far is that it doesn't even show the least amount of wear. I guess my, my reason for saying that is I can't tell you what it's going to be like a year from now, two years from now, but at least in that short period of time I've had it, it hasn't shown anywhere where I was concerned about it, honestly, it was at the pivot point where that heavy nylon, it's like a two inch round disc, half inch in deep nylon washer, and that's what is bearing the weight on it. I think that's probably gonna last a good long time. Okay, um, there's not a lot more to say about this chair. Uh, it's comfortable, and that's the, what you can ask of a chair, right? All right, let's wrap this video up with a few more comments on it. Okay, a few closing comments on the swivel portable chair from the company T-Sec, T-C-E-K. That's my best pronunciation is T-Sec. Uh, it's heavy, all right? That's, that's a con for this chair 
it is heavy. It is not a backpack and chair. At least it's not something I'm going to carry out into the woods or I'm not going to carry very far. I guess that's another way of looking at it. It's not, it makes a, a great car camping chair, especially if you don't have a lot of space and uh, you don't want to carry a larger chair. I'd throw this in the trunk of the car and take it to, if my kids were still young enough that I was watching their soccer games and the like, then, then this may be the chair I would take with me. So I think it, it's a good chair for that purpose. Uh, if I was car camping and I was just taking it to the beach or using it around my campsite, I wouldn't mind the weight. And it, the comfort is definitely there in this chair. I, I'm sitting in it now, of course. Uh, it's not a high back chair, but it does take me to... Oh, about an inch, maybe two inches just below the shoulders. Maybe it'll show better if I do it like that. How about there? You can probably see just how high up it is. So it's it's not bad in terms of its height when you let yourself slide down into it into a comfortable position. It's, it's not a high back, as I meant. It's not a reclining chair, but it does pretty good. So the... Another thing that I like about it are the feet. They're wide, they're stable, they're not sinking into the loam here into the woods, the, the duff here. They're, they're very stable that way. Uh, yeah, the swivel feature is kind of cool and I do like that. One thing I've noticed about it though with that swivel feature, and it's not a deal breaker, it's just something you need to be aware of. If you swivel around and then lean over to reach something, like any four-legged chair, it has a tendency to want to tip in that direction. So just bear that in mind. I mean, you, you could do that with the regular chairs as well. I think that's probably the reason why office chairs have five wheels, five legs coming over to them because you get that extra stability. I don't know if it's worth redesigning this chair to put a fifth leg on it. It would be interesting to see what if they were able to do that but maintain the weight or even lighten the weight some. Yeah. Uh, the fact that it goes together so easily, no assembly required. Basically, it's just let it spring into position and pull at the, the telescopic uh, top pieces of the chair up and you're good to go. So there are some pros, but there are some cons. Weight being the single biggest con for this chair. But if weight is not an issue for you, you may find that the pros make this chair worth looking at. So what I will do, of course, is I'll be putting the information where you can take another look at this in the video description below, as well as all the technical specifications for it. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. But in the meantime, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.